Hi. This uh, system is currently running. I don't know if you can see that. Just under one inch of water column. It's kind of dark here. Uh, anyhow. Uh, 74, uh, 75 degrees Celsius. That's uh, about 166 Fahrenheit. It's kicked into high mode here for a few moments. Um, what I've got is I've got a, a plug-in set, but this one's live all the time. This one is running the blower motor. The blower motor is actually on the other end of the pipe outside. And the pipe comes back in and goes in. So this is actually the chimney. This is actually a four inch semi, oh, there, just kicked down again. So, um, and the switch is just an on off. And then there's two dimmer switches. And what, this one's set for low, this one's set for high. There's a Honey, Honeywell Aquastat that simply has a setting for a certain temperature. And as the water cools down, it kicks it back into high. The system heats up, shuts back down again. So now we're at 75.5. I think it's about 71 something is when it gets, kicks back in again. Uh, the nozzles are kind of dirty, but there's the back of a nozzle. And this is in low mode right now. Okay. There's the back of another one. I can't get to the third one. But what we've got is this is a downdraft gasifying boiler. So the gasifier... It's pretty tall right now because it's actually up off the ground. So I'm going to chop the legs and drop everything. But in the meantime, and the, oh, this is inlet air right here. And that's coming off the manifold at the bottom down here. There's three outlets. And then here's our, for our gauge. This is uh, secondary air. And this is like a master on off. And if you listen really carefully, you can hear the air just sucking through the bottom of the pipe. So anyhow, here's the burn chamber. You can see, there it is. So what it is, is the gasifier takes the wood chips, burns them, and then at a certain point, the oxygen in there stops. It gets down to a certain point, stops. And then what happens is there's thermal devolatization of the uh, wood chips, which are now black char, and it actually devolatizes it into its gases, which is basically hydrogen, methane, a couple other things like uh, pentane, octane, uh, I don't know, I can't, heptane, there's a bunch of them, whatever. They're all trace gases. It's basically hydrogen and methane. So this is the inside of the burn chamber. It's actually running pretty cool. And what you're seeing is you're seeing the red of the refractory in the burn chamber. That's, like, this thing runs at, are you ready for this? 11 to 1300 Celsius. Not Fahrenheit, Celsius. Get your get your converter out. Figure out what that is. It's almost 2,000 Celsius or 2,000 Fahrenheit. Um, at that point, the uh, it, go, it goes down the burn chamber, and this is insulation just simply because the burn chamber actually runs that hot. And then what there is is there's a hot water heat exchanger. Okay, and this is a fire tube system. So there are actually tubes in here that run to the far end. And then they're allowed to circulate up and they run back. And those come up here. And then it finally comes back and comes out the far end. And here's the chimney, as we said. Now, I don't know if you can see this out there. Maybe it's too bright. There it is. You can see there's the there's the, the blower. And it's just idling. That's steam, not smoke. If I go outside, you'll see it dissipates its steam. You don't believe me? Look, guess what? I'm putting my hand on the chimney. It's that cool, okay? It's that cool that this whole system has been up and running now for over 35 hours, nonstop. Okay, that's continuous mode operation. There's no clean out of ash. Well, there will be, but you know, I'm saying this is it, it, you don't have to do this like on an hourly basis, like with a fireplace or anything. And what we've got, is under the aquastat, which is here. I just I have the cover off. The cover's right here. Okay. So under the aquastat, 
what we've got is we've got, sorry, just a, a, a manifold, and then there's a, a, a circulating pump. And what it's doing is it's taking the, uh, the hot water, sending it out to the other buildings, and then it's coming back on this one. And coming in, and like I said, this is open to air. Wow. I, I just, what I've got is I've got the slate. Just trying to keep the oxygen minimal. If it did boil or whatever, this would just kind of lift up, eh? So this is just temporary. This is not the permanent system. This is design phase. Okay? So this whole system is is been kind of podged together to make everything work right. Now that it works right, now I can actually build a good one. You know what I mean? So, um, the, the, the whole system is running on a boat well, a little bit more than a five gallon pail of wood chips per hour. So what we've got, I've been doing some testing and there's a five gallon pail. It's about six and a half pounds or just under three kg. And an empty pail is about a pound and a bit, not almost a pound and a half. So there's roughly five pounds of chips there. Now, this pail is actually a little bit less than a five gallon pail. A real true five gallon pail. Oh, it just cut back in again onto high. A real, real true five gallon pail, about 10 pounds, give or take. Okay, and the pail is almost two pounds. So it's about eight pounds there. So about eight pounds an hour. I'd, I'd most likely say closer to 10. 10 pounds an hour is what the system is running. And you can see there's kind of a purple tinge to the flame. That's it's in high mode now. So and you can hear the draw off the air. I'm just getting the mic in front of it, you know. Um, and that's it. Now right now it's a manual it's a manual load system, which means I've got a ladder, and what I'm doing is is undoing the clamps really quick, pulling the top off, and pouring five gallon pails into the top chamber here. This is about three and a half to four hours worth of wood chips here, give or take. So I could actually leave it, but I'm, I'm doing evaluation purposes, so I keep, I keep testing it. Um, so modifications, like, like I said, like the, you know, all this is just, it's been modified and modified and remodified. And finally, after about seven or eight modifications, it's now running real nice. And we're now up to one inch of water column, not even one inch, just under one inch of water column. Uh, the system is self-restarting, which means if I have a power failure, I've simulated a power failure by simply pulling the plug. Um, as long as there's a little bit of glowing char in the middle, and the char in the middle will glow for up to upwards of three and a half hours. If there's a bit of char glowing in the middle, and the power comes back on, it relights in the top, and will actually relight itself in the, in the burn tube as well. So, nice to know that you don't really have to worry about it. I would most likely say anything over two hours, you'd most likely have to go out and double check. But if it's, under, if it's just a brief power failure, this thing, this thing will work great by itself. So and again, eventually I'll take all of this, I'm gonna lower it down. And then what I'm gonna do is, is I'm actually gonna build a, a hopper and the hopper will have an auger that comes up and goes in the side at the top and feeds it. And the whole thing will be down, you know, more this level instead of way up in the, in the boonies there. So, um, and again, remade, insulated properly, and eventually there'll actually be a building on it, and it'll actually be sitting outside, okay? So then the, the hopper will hold roughly about four days worth of chips, and the, uh, the system will, you won't have to touch it for three or four days. And like I said, this, build, this, this system is actually heating three different buildings. It's heating a large guest house, a house, and the shop. All three of them off of five, well, 10 pounds an hour.